Hunted the Demon's Forge is a game I was honestly excited for. At a first glance, it looked like a mix between Gears of War and an RPG, and that's awesome! But reviews came out for the game, and they were a tad mixed, and then I had a friend just blatantly tell me the game was shit. But, after playing through the game, I can proudly proclaim, it is not shit! Yeah! While it does have its share of shortcomings, and it won't redefine a genre, for what it is, it's pretty good. And with that in mind, let's get into my review. Hunted follows two mercenaries, Alara and Kadok. The game starts with Kadok having a bad dream consisting of evil things, and a prostitute. But soon enough, the two are on their merry way until they come across a door that Kadok thinks seems familiar. So, to get the plot going, they go through the door and soon encounter the elusive prostitute, who wants them to pick up a death stone in return for power. Which, in theory, sounds like a terrible idea, but what the hell, here comes a plot point! Of course, seeing as how that thing was called a Death Stone, all hell breaks loose, but soon enough you become reunited with the mystical prostitute, and she gives you a seemingly simple task. Find her father, who is evidently in need of your skills and will pay you monies. Can't say no to that. And you know, stuff happens and you may or may not be doing some saving the world type things, and uh, that's the plot in its most basic form. I do try to stay vague as to not get bitched at. Now overall, the plot is okay. It's the kind of story where it's like the game is just dangling a plot point in front of you, and each time you get close to it, the plot point gets yanked away and you're set to chase it again without anything super interesting happening in between. Alara and Kadok are decent main characters, though, and have pretty good chemistry, making their back and forth really amusing, and that's always a good thing. And while the story does kind of scream generic fantasy plot thingy, for what it was, I liked it. I certainly didn't not like it. It's not Shakespeare, which is great because I fucking hate Shakespeare thanks to high school, but for what it was, it was good. It's look then leap, Alara. How many times do I have to say it? The gameplay of Hunted is an interesting mix of melee combat, ranged combat, magic combat, and a Gears of War style gameplay, which I think is what got me really interested in the game. In the game, you can take control of either Kadok or Alara, your goal being to progress through various areas, along the way fighting monsters, finding secrets, and... well... yeah. The two characters make use of both melee and ranged weapons, Kadok specializing in melee and Alara in ranged, so you can pick the character that suits your style. And each character can also use magic. Combat itself works fairly well. Melee is your standard press buttons to kill, and with ranged, you can shoot stuff! But the game also incorporates Gears of War-like elements, so you can run up to cover, poke your head out to shoot, or just jump over that cover and stab things! The big focus in the gameplay is the co-op, though. You can team up with a friend, or random asshole, and play through the campaign, and this works well enough. In the single player, I find my AI partner was never a real nuisance. Not like in RE5 when Sheva kept using all the fucking healing items, I'm still so pissed about that. As for the multiplayer, I haven't played much of it, mainly because I feel like the game would be more fun to play with a friend, not random asshole, and I just don't have that opportunity at the moment. I've heard it's pretty good, though. The areas you progress through are mostly linear, but have sections that allow for some exploring as the game is full of secrets, whether that be in the form of crystals for upgrading your characters, which we'll get into in a bit, gold, or weapons. And there's some other things to look out for, like prisoners to free or dead people so you can read their thoughts. You can also upgrade your characters through the use of crystals, as well as performing certain actions enough times. Crystals can power up spells, and by doing certain actions enough, you can get stat bonuses like increased damage or max health up, extra inventory slot, blah! I won't lie though, I'm not a huge fan of the upgrading system. Especially since I could have sworn this game was being pushed as a full-blown RPG at some point, so seeing this simple upgrade system is a bit disappointing. The last big portion of the gameplay is The Crucible. This game basically allows you to build your own custom maps, which is a cool thing to include in the game. It's also the only portion of the game you can spend your gold in. Now I myself don't dabble in the mode too much, mostly because I'm an uncreative bastard, but I played some other people's maps and it was pretty neato. But all in all, I like the gameplay of Hunted. I think it's fun to play, and I like it when games let me go off the main path to do a bit of exploring or puzzle solving in return for some loot. But I found issues, because I'm good at that. Firstly, the game can be buggy. I've had occasions where my AI partner would just be stuck in one place, and to get them to move I'd have to run ahead so they just magically teleport to me. 
There's also occasions where the AI partner won't do what you want them to do, meaning you'll have to restart from the last checkpoint. This only happened once for me though, but it's worth noting. Another thing that irked me was gold. You find tons of gold throughout the game, but it serves zero purpose in the actual campaign, which to me seems like a missed opportunity. Why couldn't there be, like, shops set up along the way? Let me buy new equipment or items, rather than just loot it off everything I see. Not that I'm against that, I'm just throwing the idea out there. The only other things I had issues with were that ranged combat at times was a little awkward, granted that was with Katic and he sucks at that, and combat in general got repetitive from time to time. But, all in all, I really enjoyed playing through Hunted. While the lack of RPG elements makes me sad, I legit had a lot of fun playing through the game. Graphically, I think Hunted looks pretty good, actually. Yes, it's kind of stereotypical fantasy setting, and the game does start pretty dank and dark, but when you get into the more open territory, the game looks pretty nice, and then it gets all dank again. And I thought the level design was quite nice as well. Though the game does suffer from time to time to some delayed texture loads, which honestly never bothers me in any game, but I figured I'd mention it. Character design is okay. I really like the design of Alara. She looks really cool and is in a skimpy outfit. Kadek looks kind of bled though. He's bald and bland. Bland is a good way to sum up most of the other characters as well. Humans, monsters, they're not terribly exciting. The game does keep a solid frame, most of the time, which is always nice, but all in all the graphics were good. On the sound portion of things, voice acting was pretty good actually, and no voice really struck me as shit. The only issue with the voice acting that I had is that sometimes characters off in the distance will just keep repeating the same lines over and over and fucking over, which can get a tad annoying, especially when someone's just blabbing on and on about how, oh, our lord and savior, oh, he left us, blah, 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 suck it up! As far as music is concerned, it's good. We, of course, have to come back to stereotypical fantasy music, but... This is a fantasy game, so it's not like that doesn't fit, and while it doesn't strike a chord with me and it's not anything I'll be humming to myself creepily while walking by people and attempt to creep them out and make them run away, it is good. All in all, the presentation of Hunted was good. All things considered, I really enjoyed Hunted the Demon's Forge. More so than I thought I would, but hey, reading negative reviews will do that, I suppose. While it's not Game of the Year material, and there's totally games similar to this that do what this game does better, I genuinely think it's worth picking up. I had a lot of fun playing through it, and plan on doing so again. So, if it looks interesting, I'd say pick it up. Hunted the Demon's Forge gets a 4 out of 5. Bless you. You'll be rewarded for what you've done, and handsomely, there'll be songs. <laughs>